Hey everybody, Funshot X here. Uh, you wanted more Utopia? You got it. More Utopia. I am in a crazy void age. I did not add the Ender Star field, but it gave it to me by chance, by randomness, and so apologize if you don't like the crazy purple noise <laughs> in the background. Anyway, I'm in a giant structure made of holy stone. Uh, we can see it goes uh, pretty far down there. Yeah, way down there. <laughs> I'm up at a pretty high uh, Y level, 131. What I want to do is I want to start on our Molten Liquids for the All Barrel Challenge. And we're going to do this all in this Void Age, and this is going to be a crazy, super massive build, uh, go bigger, home, go home type build. So, hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to set up some lasers here and here. They can see the Void all the way down there. And they're also more efficient when they're above level 127, so that's why I'm up this high. So we're going to set up one there, one there, and a bunch of the pre-chargers around them. So we'll have two lasers going at once. This is going to be crazy. We're going to need a ton of power to run them. I'm not even sure if I can run two at max speed. I'm going to start with one. If we can get a second, I'll do it. Uh, but that's part of the go bigger, but go home. I want to do as much as I can, right? Uh, I built some uh, resonant energy cells. So let's store a ton of RF. Pretty cool. And I want to try and run as much as I can off Steve's factory manager. So we'll see if we can get that going. If not, I'll replace it with Ender.io. This is the highest uh, Ender IO tier uh, energy cable um, that moves like uh, 10,000 RF a tick, which is basically, no, I think it's 200,000, no, twin, oh, let me just look, <laughs> oh gosh, it's uh, 20,000. So I've got here the, uh, the Steve's in uh, inventory cable that will feed these guys with their liquid steam, and then I've also got these redstone signals, uh, redstone emitters that will turn them on. Because I don't think they have no control. That's fine. We'll just give them redstone signal, and then this will take all the power into that cell, and then we'll provide it to the uh, drill later, mining drill. Okay, or mining laser. Sorry. Um, down here. Remember last time we built these Steve engine? There's Steve uh, steam. I've got Steve on the brain. Steam tanks. Well, now we've got four more of them. These are the massive four by three by three by four by three size. Uh, solid fueled. We're going to use uh, charcoal again um, just because I've got so much wood it's crazy. Oh, but you can see I've got an inventory cable touching the hypersure boiler, touching the fuel box, and uh, going up to the uh, whatever those guys are up there. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got accumulators there. Uh, you, luckily, I did, my one in my base did not blow up. I got water in it just in time, but now I've got those, these accumulators going way early just in case. And then down here, I've got two steam ovens. So I think one steam oven can produce enough charcoal to run two boilers. I'm pretty sure it can. If not, I'll put two more steam in, uh, Steve oven. Steam ovens. Wow, I should not do steam and Steve's at the same time. This is crazy. But I've got an inventory manager connecting it there. That'll put the wood in uh, and the steam in and bring the charcoal out. Here's my uh, controller here. This in, uh, interface will be exporting oak logs, and I'll be storing extra charcoal in here if we produce any extra. So I'm hoping this all works. I haven't done it in a test world. I just go in this blind, guys. I think of an idea, and I go with it. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, the first thing we're going to need, though, is a way to get our oak planks here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect my ME system um, to this world so that I can get back and forth. So... Let's get that going first because I don't even have any of the uh, the things created at all for that. All right, guys, back in my base. To be able to make uh, hook our ME system up, uh, up across uh, a long distance or interdimensional, we're going to need a um, singularity system. Um, and the way to get that is the ME condenser. And you're going to take the ME condenser, hook it up to your ME system, and put a storage cluster in the middle. And then we're going to drop items into it, um, and it's going to add them up. We need 256,000 in here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a dirt in there, and you can see that go up by one. If I put this... Uh, I could use cobble, but if you look, here's the items that I have the most of. Dirt, I could use, actually, raw rubber I have really no use for. Let's do that. I want to make sure raw rubber works. It did. All right. It's just one per item, so it's not like some items are worth more. It's just whatever you have, whatever you don't need. I could even throw ink in there. <laughs> That's, I've got more, way more ink than I know. 201,000? Yeah, let's do ink. My goodness. Okay, well, here goes all our ink. Boom. Uh, always active. Move stacks. And here it goes. Boom. Boom. <laughs> 
There goes our ink, but I, I don't have any use for that much ink. So I'm pretty almost going to get an entire singularity here off one ink sack, which is awesome. Uh, once I have this guy, I'm going to need to split him into two. Um, so let's get that ready for that. I'm going to need some tiny TNT. This little guy here, uh, which is pretty easy. Surtish quartz, uh, nether quartz, and gunpowder. I think I should be able to make that. Tiny, come on, sort. Any eyes just so slow these days. Sometimes it doesn't even go until you click through this a bunch. There we go. Oh man. Gotta pulverize some quartz here real quick. Alright. Now I got some quartz dust. Tiny TNT. Alright, should one should be enough. Um balls hanging around. And then we'll need a lever. Don't have a lever, have a redstone torch. Yeah, we got one of those. All right, how are you doing? That's going to take a while. Okay. <laughs> what if I get another export bus? And put it right here. Oops. That ain't right. Let's export into the ground. And I need some cable. I want to do the wood because I'm going to use it. So how about? Well, let's just do more ink sacks. <laughs> I don't know if having two of these will make it any faster, but it can't hurt, right? Oh, that does. Oh, that's going up one a lot faster. Cool. Twenty-seven thousand. We got to get to two hundred fifty-six. Okay, let that run. Let's, uh, the other parts of the system we need, quantum network bridge, here we go. So it's a, a multi-block structure, we need eight quantum field ring and a quantum link chamber. Okay, so let's go in the system and look up quantum. Not that kind of quantum. Come on, NEA. Come on. You're unsynchronized. Just doesn't want to do it. Right, quantum filled ring. I need eight of these guys. I do doubt I have the stuff for it. What about the link chamber? <laughs> Alright, we'll need... Wait. Four of these, each one takes, so 16 of these guys. Click, 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 click. There we go. Four of these. One, two, three, four. And one of these. Actually, we're going to need two of these because we need one here and one there. Oh man, this is going to be expensive. Do I have Fluix in my system? I thought I did. I do. Cool. All right. I th I think I've got everything needed to craft this up now. 16 of those should make me enough for 16 of these. No. What are we missing? Just cable? Uh, I'm going to need 11 more. Nope, not you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I've got my quantum link chambers, I've got my field ring, I've got my tiny TNT, and I've got a torch. Perfect. I'm saving a few stacks of uh, ink sacks just so they don't all get condensed. And there we are getting close. 200,000, we're probably out of ink now. If we look, yes, ink is completely gone, except for those four. So let's take off the export here. And we can put our ink back now, it won't get deleted. Um, rubber wood can be turned into jungle wood planks. Jungle wood planks can then be turned into one button per plank or 
four sticks per two, so I think I want to turn it into sticks. So let's look at this pattern. Do I know how to make sticks? I have planks here. No, okay. So let's get a, let's see what our jungle wood because I'm not going to need it. And we'll do a pattern for jungle wood to planks and then planks to sticks. Nope. There we go. And I can put that there on the vanilla page. And now if we tell it to stick and go ahead and craft it. It's going to move one at a time. It's going to be pretty slow. I hope it always craft. Is that any faster? A little bit faster. We could probably help it though, right? And I know I could probably do the, get a lot more wood out of this if I like saw milled it or did something better, but. And then let's build a little bit more. Come on, double click in there, alright. And then we can do some sticks. There we go, helping it along. Perfect. Now I can just set this one to just export stacks. All right, we almost there. 202. <laughs> Sticks are already gone. Wow. Just chewing through this stuff. Cyclic assemblers would probably be better for this, but I can just do it just as fast. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like we are about there and 256. Sweet. Let's work on a second one. Let's stop it. Give me my sticks back. Stop stealing my sticks. All right, we got a singularity. Okay, time to blow this thing up. Um, let's just go outside, I guess. What do I got on here? Give me a uh, void. Ooh, it's raining. All right, so we will put the singularity on the ground. We will put the tiny TNT here and we'll blow it up. Kaboom! <laughs> that didn't work. Okay guys, to make this uh, singularity entangled we'll throw it down on the ground, we'll throw some ender pool dust on the ground, we'll put our tiny TNT there and we will blow it up. There we go. And we have now two quantum entangled singularities. Awesome. That is pretty pretty cool. I think the server's about to restart, so I'm not sure how far I'll get into this. But let's go, um, let's do it right here, sure. We're gonna have our eight blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Should I move that down one? Eh, it's fine. Looks good there. There it goes. It's all set. I need to get a little, little bit of cable to connect it. And... There she goes. Put the little ball in there. Okay. And now I think she needs power. Am I right about that? Let me check really quick. All right, it's 40 MJ per tick, so maybe I didn't want to put it there because I've got no power at all over there, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I've got power right up here. Oh, but this is the solar power. I want my full full system power. Yeah. All right, we're going to move it. All right, right here looks good. Let's put it here instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This little guy... One minute, no! And give it some power. Um, there we go. And we put it in the side right there. 
There she goes. She's online. Nice. Sweet. Okay. As soon as the server restarts, I will meet you guys back in the uh, world I created. And we will get going on linking this thing. See you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, the server is back up. We're here in our void world, and I've got this structure built. I'm going to go ahead and put the singularity in there. Uh, hook it up to the cable. Now we just need to give it some power. Eventually I'll just power it from this system that's here, but right now I need to teleport some power in. So I've got my dimensional transceiver, and then I'll just hook it right in like that. There we go. Can we get to our ME system? Uh, probably the easiest way would be to say export a cable. Yep, it's there. Nice. Okay. So, if I want oak wood, do I have any oak wood anywhere? No, I'm going to go get it. Let's put this guy back in there. Okay. Heading home, let's just get some oak wood, tell it to export it, and then we'll be pretty much autonomous. Uh, we'll have to come back here. I hope. <laughs> After that, oh, I should get like an ME uh, a crafting terminal. Let's do that, just so we can get into the system. We are in the clear. Sweet. Okay, back to the ore facility. And this is like the bottom level. You guys will see this is crazy number of levels. Most of them aren't complete because I didn't have enough stone to make the holy stone required. That's okay. Okay, so you're getting power. Crafting terminal. Short right here. There we go, we got a whole system. Now we just tell this to. We should get a whole stack. Keep some stacks of wood available. There we go. Now it's got all that wood it can interact with whenever it needs. So the first thing we'll do is tell it. On the first trigger, we're going to go. Um, from the interface, we're going to grab, from the down slot, it doesn't matter, items whitelist oak wood. So it's going to grab oak wood and it's going to output it into the steam oven. Target down, I think that should work. Items blacklist, nothing. All right, so that should be putting wood in here. Nice! Yes! Okay, cool. Okay, now we need to get some steam actually being generated. Uh, so for that, we're going to need a bunch of charcoal. Don't you have a bunch of charcoal for me, dude? There it all is. You've got plenty. Alright. Hopefully that's at least enough to get it up to speed to start producing some steam. So once it does, then it will just keep perpetuating itself. I've <laughs> got too many elevators. Alright, so let's put our charcoal in here. Ten stacks, and we can say... Um, on this one, let's do an input. Actually, it's going to be on the third one. You hold shift and it like lines up with a grid, which is actually really cool. Let's put that one there. Another one here. I can move this over to there. Perfect. Okay, so on this one, it's going to input from the barrel. From the bottom is fine. It doesn't need, I can just blacklist nothing. There's only one thing in there. And then it's going to export that. Get up, go away. Nope, stop. <laughs> Create the output. And we're going to put that into the solid fuel firebox. Why is there two of them showing? Oh, because I've connected it to both. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do this one, which is... 27. That guy. Okay. I can do both of them later. I just want to get one running now. The target is going to be down, sure, and items blacklist. Okay. That should be good. 
Let's go see if he's getting some charcoal in here. He is. Nope, he's getting wood. That's not what I wanted. Oh, stop putting wood in there. Input. Inventories. Barrel. What? Output. Steam oven. It's not making any sense. That guy's not even connected. Well. Input from the barrel. Let's just put a whitelist on this, I guess. doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> uh. Alright, well, here's what we'll do. We will break the flow control. Just have a single trigger here. Whoa, why did that do that? That made no sense. That, oh, that's a bug. <laughs> okay, let me program this, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, that seems to have fixed it by putting two separate triggers. I think the input from one was carrying over to the output of the other, just using the flow control. I'm not sure that's supposed to happen or not, but this worked a lot better. Um, so I've used half the charcoal I put in there, and we are at uh, 40 degrees. So we should be able to hit 100 and get some steam output by the time we're there. So let's go ahead and program that one in there. So we're going to have another trigger. Just running every second. That's going to do a liquid input. And I'm yet to see if this can handle as much liquid as I need it to. But the tank is going to be the uh, high pressure boiler tank at 27. Yep. Uh, target down, sure. Liquid. There's only one liquid in there, so I can blacklist it. And then create a liquid output. I actually should do a flow here, but for now it's fine. We're not going the engines anyway. Liquid output, the tank is going to go into the steam oven. Uh, sure, down, and blacklist. Okay, so as soon as we should get some steam, it should start putting it into our steam oven. I'm hoping. That's assuming Steve managers can to do all this. We are getting 48 degrees. Okay, that's going to go pretty slowly. How are we doing on our charcoal? We're still good. Okay, five stacks left. All right, guys, let me pause right here and get this Steve oven, steam oven, getting some steam, and then I will be back to wrap up the episode. Okay, guys, we're back, and we are generating steam now. We're over 100 degrees. You can see the steam. It's actually using a lot more than the uh, steam oven can handle. That thing's completely full. It's generating charcoal for us. So the last thing to do would then be have another input here. Uh, well, actually, there's going to be two. So let's do two triggers here. One there. I'll clean this up in between. I just want to get it going. Uh, input here and another input here. And then lastly, an output. Actually, this needs to be liquid. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go on the steam boiler. Or steam oven, sorry. Target down, and we're going to pull out the charcoal. And then we're going to output it into the barrel. Let's see if that works. Barrel, are you filling up? You are. Nice. Okay, perfect. And then the last one is an input liquid from the solid fuel boiler on was it 27. Now I've forgotten. Yeah, 27. High pressure boiler at 27. Target down, liquid blacklist. And then output tanks, we're going to pick all the industrial steam engines. I think I might need more engines, but we'll see. And activate and liquids on a blacklist. 
Okay. Let's see if we get... Oh, what are you complaining about? No direction. Let's see if these guys are pumping themselves? They are! Nice! Ha 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 ha! Are you getting power? How, how's your power climbing? Okay, cool. <laughs> They're gonna take a while to get up to speed. Their steam looks like it can hold much more steam than or might I can support many more steam engines than I am. Let's see by how much. Not too much. It's actually going down now. Okay, so maybe we can't support one uh steam oven and four engines. We'll see. Maybe we can. Maybe once it gets up to temperature. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So I'll see I'll manage it in, or watch it in between um, the, the episodes and make sure this gets running. Next time we're going to go ahead and make the uh, the drills and hook our power up to them. And then the time after that we will be pu uh, putting in a ton of smelteries from Tinkers and smelting all the ore into liquid ore and filling up all our barrels. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really enjoy Steve's Factory Manager. It's really fun to be able to kind of flowchart your way through. You don't have to build a lot of stuff. You just connect everything and tell it what to do, and it does it for you. So uh, please leave a like below if you enjoyed the episode, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and if you'd like to see more Utopia and Agrarian Skies and uh, Magic Bear as well. Go ahead and comment below. I'll definitely try and reply back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Funshot X for Utopia. I will see you guys next time. Bye.